Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Greg Wilder over at D&G Productions, The Wild Man. Actually, that's not true. I'm quite boring. Basically, I'm going to show you today how to make some really cool titles. I'm going to save a lot of time and energy here by importing a graphic that was already created by D&G Productions, the Energy Burst in Standard Def and or High Def, but we'll go with Standard Def today. You can find this and many other graphics at Wipids.com, W-I-P-I-D-Z.com. A lot of cool graphics, really inexpensive, all downloadable. It'll help you uh, speed things up in the editing world so you don't have to waste time making uh, backgrounds and graphics. So basically this is it. Now we're going to throw some titles over that, and I'm going to try to make this within 10 minutes. So let's uh, move forward. Right-click outside in the timeline, off of the graphic, and hit Insert Video Track. You've got a blank track up here, which is highlighted, which means that's what you will be working in. Again, now right-click inside that empty area and Insert Text Media. Get your standard text box here. Highlight it, delete it, and let's put in um, killer titles. Or, uh, let's just make it a killer title. Uh, let's change the, not the placement, the font. Um, something a little grungy. How about papyrus? All right, cool. Uh, we'll close that out. We'll put some effects to it. You could do one or two things. You can go to the event effects here, or you can go to the video effects down here. And what I'm going to do is... Go into the wave, pick a wave, drag and drop it right into killer title, and boom, there it is. But we don't want it to look like that the whole time. So if you're familiar with keyframes, great. If not, quick explanation. This little triangle right here is your parameters of the wave. If we move over to one second, create a new keyframe, whatever you put the parameters in here, it will change from here to here. So basically, let's bring our wave down so that it's actually a little bit readable. All right, cool. Close it. Let's hit play. Not bad, but there's a few more things we're going to do. Let's line it up right off the bat. Let's line it up with that graphic coming in. Whippets graphics are pretty cool because they're designed for titles. So you'll got you'll have like these visual cues when to bring it in, just like that but we want to make it even cooler so we're going to go back in to our effects generator right here left click this you got your wave here but we want to add another effect so we go to our plugin chain here click on that and let's put in some light rays highlight the light rays hit add hit OK boom light rays it automatically creates a keyframe in the beginning so let's make this ray really really big go to about one second where the other keyframe is you can hit keyframe or you can just make an adjustment in the parameters which will then automatically make a keyframe as you can see let's bring it down a little bit and that's looking pretty cool all right but we want it to continue wiggling or waving basically so we'll go back into the effects we're going to go to the end of our clip is about five seconds but we lose it so we'll come back a few frames here and not the rays we have to highlight the wave everything's in the same box but you got to go back and forth wave rays wave rays anyway um, let's make the, the waves move a little bit so it's still moving close it take a quick look at it all right they keep moving all right want to do one more really cool thing and we're going to change the event pan we're gonna make it small and big and fly off the screen so if you click on this button here you'll get this weird looking circle with a bunch of squares and everything and again it automatically does a keyframe we want to go to the end of the five second clip not to the exact end not yet of course and grab one of the corners here and zoom in and it'll, it'll zoom the titles right past you just like that. Excellent. We'll bring that to the end. Go back to the beginning and we'll do the exact opposite and we'll pull out which will make them smaller. You can use your little arrow wheel to make this smaller so you can see. And, and there we go. Now let's take a look at it. Okay. 
pretty cool. Let's change the color real fast so that it kind of matches the graphic. And what we'll do is we'll go back into our the button up here in the clip. Top button is the generated media, which is your text. So we will go over to the properties. We want to change the color. Let's make it something like in the graphic here. So we'll pick the little eyedropper and then go over and cool. So it starts there. And you can take your scrubber and scrub through it. But it's a little too dark. So what we're going to do for the end, as it goes out, we're going to change the color by creating another keyframe right at the end. Keyframe. And we can change the color to, you could just put your m cursor over here and move it around. But let's put it to white and hit close and see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. Now, let's see. Let's put one more effect in there. Let's let's do something a little different here. We can actually either go into our video effects window here or go back into this, but let's do it differently here. Let's go to the light rays. No, not light rays. I'm sorry. Let's put a lens flare in there and just drag it drop it in there you get a little bit of the effect there you can zoom it through and let's change that with the preset and sunburst no uh, 35 millimeter no actually I'm not liking the lens flare at all so we can either unclick it or delete it let's go back to our light rays see what what we could do with that uh, we can either make it stronger or we can move it around a bit yeah why don't we move it around a bit so let's go back to the beginning up oh, it already made a keyframe let's delete the keyframe let's come back to the beginning here just use this little button here the previous keyframe and go to this keyframe here and we'll drag the light rays all the way to the left like so and we'll go to the end and we'll unclick it so that we don't have that one keyframe highlighted and we'll move the light rays all the way to the other side. Drag that to the end here and see how that looks. Pretty cool. Now, if you want, you want to keep that going with another title. You can just basically highlight it, edit, copy, go anywhere in your that layer off of the clip, edit, paste, create new media, copy of the source, and you'll have the same thing, but what we'll do is we'll change that by going back to the generated media, highlight it, type in presents, we'll go change our color properties so that it matches the other graphic that comes up, which is going to be purplish. So then we can eyedropper, purple and we will use the scrubber in here great thing about Vegas is you can play things and scrub through things even with the other windows open and that's pretty cool but it does the same exact wave so let's close that go into our effects go to our wave by highlighting it down here go to our last keyframe and change the wave a little bit that way and bring this in a little and so it won't look exactly like the original wave all right so there you have it two quick cool fonts and titles sorry in less than 10 minutes now oh, we need to bring that in a little more or a little sooner so we'll go to right about here and we'll drag this clip all the way over hit play again All right. All right, so there you have it. This is what it looks like. And if you want to check out this tutorial or and or the graphics, whippets.com, W-I-P-I-D-Z.com. Thanks, take care.